So now that we have everything set up and configured, we're now going to go and take a look at that website that I was talking about. And that's shiftman.net slash p5 slash connect. And you can read a little bit more about this and the libraries. Again, some of the differences, which I think is it kind of sucks for Mac users, is uh, the Windows has a um, model of a person who's a detecting model and the skeleton tracking. So um, pretty cool features that you're not going to get with Mac. You, Of course, you're going to get the sensors and detection and things like that, and you can work with it. You're just not going to get all that sort of cool fundamental kind of things, you know, that skeleton that we've seen in many of the demos and of uh, Xbox Connect stuff. So again, this talks about a little bit the hardware, the Connect sensor version one. I think the the issue here, and then you can read more about it with Mac OS version. And then uh, there's some additional notes and then um, this simple op open NI. Um, so a library here, which is still running, um, but uh, this is something that, again, uh, don't know if you can get that uh, to work on a Mac and that some people on the community out there have not been able to do that. But you can do that on PC. So once you're ready to get started, um, the easiest way here is the Library for Processing contribu uh, Contribution Manager. Uh, so you're going to import libraries, you're going to click Add Library, and then you're going to search for Connect. And... Um, so I'm going to open up processing here. So now I have processing opened and um, I'm going to go to sketch import library and then add library. And then if you click on this search here and just type connect. Uh, oh, spelled that. So I have this open connect for processing a Mac OS connect implementation. There's a connect implementation too for Windows here and uh, um, connect window SDK simple wrapper for Microsoft Connect here. So we want this one here by Daniel Schiffman. I already have it installed here so you can see that the green check is there, but yours probably yours won't be installed. So go ahead and click that and then click the install button. Now you'll have the uh, connect, connect library to work with processing, which is actually written by Daniel Schiffman and Thomas Sanchez. So from there, Daniel here on his site, again, talks a little bit about this, like why processing and uh, what code do I write and things like this to, to go through and set up the connect. And I'll go through all of this with you. Um, but if you come down here to examples, uh, he shows a couple different ones. So this is the RGB depth test and then version two. And he's made demos for versions one and version two. I'm going to include that zip file in the exercise file. So if you want to just go and reference, you can either get it from his site. I'm going to include it on the exercise files here as well. So you can directly download here. If you had multiple connect devices, uh, the point cloud and then average point tracking. And I think average point tracking is a good one to get started with. So I'm going to click on the average point tracking one. And this will take me over to that to his GitHub here. And so you see shipment open connect for processing. And I'm just going to go and download the entire repo. So I'll click on the open connect processing and then I'm going to download the zip. And um, so while this is downloading, I'm going to plug in my connect into my USB port. So um, now that it's downloaded, I have my open uh, connect file I'm unzipping. I'm going to go into the file here and you'll see build open connect to and open connect processing. So if you see open build open connect to you'll see C++ open connect TV and proton net test. Uh, we want to go into the open connect and then inside here is an examples folder and then inside this is your version. So I clicked on connect one because I'm using the uh, connect 360 here. So these are the uh, demos that he's provided with this. And um, let's start with the average point uh, tracking. So I can just uh, drag this into processing and you'll see the file and it automatically opens up the reference to the connect tracker. 
and we can actually go in and run this. So here we go. Uh, I'll click play and you will see, move this over a little bit. You will see, looks like it's coming in. Oh, I might be a little too close. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah, I think my threshold's pretty high up there. Yep. Um, hmm. That didn't come up. Let me run that again and see if we get. There we go. So, um, I think it might be because I just downloaded it. Um, needed to go and run. So with this example, it's about testing that threshold and that dot, as you can see there. So if I move up and down with the arrow keys, uh, you'll see it starts to um, reduce the area that it recognizes on my body here. Of course, you'll see I have this black sort of uh, shape in front of me. That is the mic that I am talking on. And if I shrink this down even more, you'll see it's just my face as that is the closest thing to this. Now, when it's on that sort of red area, you can see that it's putting the circle or ellipse onto the area that it is closest to that it is recognizing. So as I move my head, it follows my head um, to that area. So now if I keep going up all the way, you'll see it trying to find the biggest area of red. And then, um, so now I'm at 800, 800, 900, and then finally, uh, that's pretty much the background. It's got everything in there. So I think pretty good number for this. Uh, and again, it's going to depend on how far away you are from your connect. But for me, um, that number, uh, this is my hand here. That number is about 480 based on the distance that I'm, a, I am to. So as you can see here now, I there's definitely something in front of me there, and I um, move my hand. Now, of course, there's a range where it's not going to work. You see where my hand goes black. It means that it is too close. And if I move it back some here, you'll see my hand in the space, and that that dot will follow my hand. So pretty cool um, demonstration. Now, you're going to find a bunch of other demos in here. Uh, for example, the depth threshold and a lot of these, I mean, some of them might, uh, I, I know one or two of them, I think I couldn't get to work. It might've been like a version issue. Uh, it's just kind of older. Um, this is the depth threshold. We'll give this one a try as well. So now you can see the, uh, the depth threshold of me as I'm moving and you can see those values there.